The Sail to Assist Tonga program allows us to use a yacht as a platform to bring up the five or so boxes of medical equipment as well as the other goodies I'm bringing along for the village as well. We left Opua, Bay of Islands, with about 20 other yachts and set sail across to Minerva Reef initially and then on to Tonga. So we're just currently pulling away from Bay of Islands. Oh, okay. This is me, Craig Koning. Uh, it's quarter to 11 a.m. on uh, Saturday, 2nd of May, and the journey begins. Our destination, Hunga Village in the Vavau Island group. Let the stars shine Come together Let your blurry words blur together Blur together our project? To increase the capability for this village to manage their first aid by providing them with basic training and medical equipment. Really simple stuff. Getting some gear out to people who need it and teaching them how to use it. After another remarkable time in the Minerva Reef, we arrived in Tonga in the Hapai region, which I explored in 2014 in my previous expedition. Here we are in Half Ever, an island in the Hapai group in Tonga. This road behind me leads to a village about 20 minutes walk away. Today we're going to go down there, try and meet the town officer and uh, get some supplies for our boats. There's eight yachts in the harbour currently uh, and we all need fresh fruit, vegetables, bread and eggs. Uh, let's see how this goes. Tonga. Is that right? Yeah. And uh, Lupe is the community health nurse? Pu public. Public. public health nurse. Let your blurry words blur together now. How many patients do you get in a week coming through here? In a week, 30 patients. Oh, yeah. that's a lot. Here in Hafeva, we don't have anything what the main island have. I think Hunga it's like half ever we have to go to the main island, it's really hard. So we just have to use whatever we have. It's good that your community has Lupe, you know, <laughs> but Hunga hasn't got anybody there like that. <laughs> Thank you. Well, You're welcome. Yeah. It was really insightful actually, getting to see them in a really um, open way discussing the Tongan medicine and its influences here. And of course then getting invited back to their lovely home to have tea and score all this wonderful fruit, chilies, breadfruit and other things. We finally got to Vavau and I made a quick visit to the village. I caught up with a few old friends and offloaded the medical gear from the yacht. Soon it was time for me to get off take two, the catamaran I was helping sail. I needed to find a team. I found three amazing team members, Lucas from Germany and Kelsey and Alec from Canada. We all met at Aquarium Cafe right on the water and decided there and then we work together to complete this project. Now that we have a team, there's a crucial issue I have to face. How am I going to get us all out there to this remote location? And where are we going to stay for the four days of training? Why are you letting me use the boat? Uh, because I trust you. You approached me in the right way. I knew you from last year when you sailed here on your own boat, Piketty Witch. That's why how it's easier for me to hand you the book. Yeah. Meet Sea Runner. Sea Runner is a 37-foot trimaran. 
and she will be our platform for the next 11 or 12 days as we head out to Honga with our team and conduct our training. So what exactly are we doing? Well, we're providing training and equipment for first aid, community and preventative medicine. The idea being we can help these communities engage and deal with some very basic issues. What you might notice when walking through a village around here are people, often kids, with big open wounds on their legs, very infected, very swollen and just disgusting looking. These are tropical ulcers. Now, tropical ulcers are really just a very bad fungal and bacterial infection that starts off from a scratch and it's not taken care of properly. It's very hard to heal it once it's in that state, but it's possible. So we've developed a segment in our training that deals with just tropical ulcers, how to prevent them and how to handle them when they do occur. So that's an example of some local information that drove our project towards a more specific need. We're very close to shipping out tomorrow morning. We're headed out to Honga Island and uh, we start the negotiation process with the, the higher ups in the village. But here we go. Let's together now. Let's together now.